What's up, y'all? It's Coach Justin. Um, today we have a special guest, uh, Coach Steve Becker, head coach at Cal State Dominguez Hills. A uh, really close friend of mine. Um, you'll kind of hear, like, how our relationship, you know, came about and everything, as, the more we talk. Uh, so, yeah, how's it going, Coach? Yeah, good, Just Appreciate you having me, man. Of course, man. Really Thanks. proud of you and all you're doing, man. This is, uh, I think, something that's really going to take off, so I'm excited to be a part of it. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So let's start off with um, some simple, basically, like, you know, where you played, you know, where you're from, yep. all of that. Yeah, so I'm from Huntington Beach, and uh, I played at uh, – went on to college and played at uh, Cal State Monterey Bay. Okay. And uh, learned a lot, actually, about the coaching element of things. Um, had three coaches in my five years there, which is kind of crazy. So you learn wow. some good and some bad. But um, after that, after I graduated from Monterey, we had some success. And uh, it was a phenomenal experience for me. Met a lot of my closest friends there. And then uh, – Got an opportunity to go play in Germany for a little bit, and um, knowing that was never going to be a long-term thing for me, it was it was about you know networking and trying to set up some relationships that could help right. you know players knowing I was one to coach and maybe bring players over or whatever. Um, and then after I, I tried to get my start, I was in coach high school basketball for a bit um, in Southern California. Oh, you uh, did coach high school? Uh -huh, oh, okay. Uh -huh, yep, uh, with my high school coach. And then so I, when you played in college, you knew you wanted to coach off the rip. Yeah, I kind of. I, I knew I always wanted to be a part of the game, but I think as I got a little bit older, I realized what level. Um, gotcha. And so then I got on after two years of high school. Um, I got on at Cal State Fullerton. Uh, through a pickup game, through friends of mine that I had just hooped with and met the right person, and, and they set me up. And so uh, that was a really good experience. I was there for a year. Uh, we had some really good players. Uh, God, you had you had DJ Seely, Amandi Amoki, Kwame Vaughn. Mm, Vaughn uh, you had cool Sammy boy. Yeager. You had some you had some real ball players on Sammy that team. Sammy was a shooter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah transfer from TCU. I remember, yeah, I remember watching that yeah, team. Play. Modesto Christian, I think, in the Modesto area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, and so we had a lot of success, won 20 some odd games, and I got hired at, at Dominguez Hills as an assistant. And then in year two, uh, I got promoted to head coach at 28, which was which was kind of crazy and a bit of a whirlwind. You know uh, what I just thought about? What's that? We got to rewind a little bit. Yeah. We could have been teammates. Yeah. Because I think when your senior year, I think, because wait, wait, oh, no, you would have been leaving, and I think, because Bishop started recruiting me when he. Because, okay, Davion Barry, he, yeah. he came when you left or you were so still there? So I just graduated as he was coming in. As okay, so that, because me and Davion are the same high school class. Okay. So that, that, I matter just thought about that. Matter of fact, I played, he played pickup with us on his visit. And He's I was good. like, coach, sign this dude. This He's guy's good. the real deal. He's good. He was killing at a really young it's age. It's crazy. He, yeah, he's, he's really good. Yeah, he's, he's, a he's really good. Yeah. But, okay, so, so you, you, at this point, now you're coaching at Fullerton. Mm -hmm. And you're, that's your first, what, is it your old high school you were coaching at, or is it just a random high school? Like yeah, in the I was city? coaching at Marina High School where I went, and okay. then I coached at Fountain Valley. I kind of followed my head coach when I was in high school with him. Okay. And then, you know, uh, Cal State Fullerton was my first college job. And, and then, you only did two years of high school straight to college. Mm -hmm. That's big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was That's it like fortunate. a huge change? Yeah, I mean, you know, I was younger still when I was getting my start, so it was like not too far removed from playing. But you so know, you're like what at this? How old are you at this mm, point? Shoot, I'm probably. Uh, 20, it's around 26. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then. Was that tough for you, like, yeah. coaching college guys at that age? Yeah, because, uh, you know, I mean, because it's like an authority, you know, to a degree. Yeah. But I'm also young. I'm not acting like I'm barking people around. It's right, more right, so, right. like, player development, build, build relationships, and then trying to build respect from these older dudes. And like, getting your feet wet and kind of learning. Yeah, and learning. Yeah. And learning and all that. So and, you're, like, teaching and learning at the same time. Yeah. So it's yeah. like. Yeah, I mean, I spoke to what I know as a player and what I feel real confident in, and then you're also, you know, soaking up guys that have been 30, 40 years in the business, right. all the stuff they got for you, too. I, so. think that's, um, I think that's dope because I feel like every coaching staff needs a young guy like that to relate. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then so let's fast forward a little bit. So then I come to Dominguez Hills. Yep, yep, that's right. And I think we didn't even meet until – so. okay, so hold on, let me slow down. So – Coaching at Fullerton, and then did you like apply to other and interview at other co colleges? No, or? I um, my head coach Bob Burton, um, who's like a mentor of mine. He knew Coach Powell, who's the head coach at Dominguez, who recruited you. Right, and uh, and so he got me in the door, and then I interviewed, and it and it went well, and and I Burton's got Burton's a big name, huh? Yeah, he he's he's uh, he's a vet, and he's and he's a. I heck think of I coach. met him. Before. I think I met him a couple times, like yeah. as a player. Yeah, he might have recruited yeah, you at some point. I think I, I think I met him. Um, and so that was really good. And then when I got to Dominguez, you were first, uh, you were incoming uh, transfer. 
So, so I think the this first, is your time first time we year. met, I was already on campus. You had like moved in, and I was helping you move in. Right. And that was like the first time we probably spoke on the phone, but right, right, right. that was the first time I think that that you and I got to meet. And I and I always thought we hit it off because I, I always respected your basketball mind. What's crazy is I I, I was telling somebody the story the other day. I think that it's hilarious because I feel like our relationship is the way it is, but it's almost like it started in a negative way, and I'm going to tell you what I mean by that because yeah. I was so out of shape that yeah. Coach Powell made you make me go run the track yeah. every yeah. morning. So That's it's right. like we were almost forced to be yeah. like cool, yeah. you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly, <laughs> and I was the guy that had Exactly, you was like, you, so you we would wake up right. every day at like 7 in the morning like right. – we gotta go to the track, and I would run, yep. and then like I was so out of shape. So I was like, yep. "That's that's funny." Like, yep. I think that's kind of why our relationship became so cool because I used to vent to you, and yep. that's yep. You, and that was a part of my life. And if you it. remember, I used to run with you. Exactly. Yep. So you saw me like exactly. put in equity with exactly. you, and I'm hurting yeah, yeah. like you're hurting a little and, bit. And then it was like, yeah, that was, that was dope because you didn't have yeah. to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I remember you would you would get to school like you would have to be there for like another three hours, yeah. and then yeah. you would come pick you know come to the dorm. If I would be late, yeah. <laughs> he would like come to the door. I'm like, no, we gotta go to get this done. Yeah. You know what I mean, but and then and it was crazy because I remember I don't know if you remember at one point I lost like 17 pounds yeah. in like oh, yeah. two weeks or something. Like we yeah. were going at it. Yeah, like. I remember, I remember. But that that's the part of it. And now you as a coach now, like it's not about right. I don't get anything out of you running all those miles. Exactly. Other than seeing you put yourself in the position where you can help the ball club and, exactly. and help yourself. I mean, well, let's talk about it. So yeah. speaking of that, so now you're assistant coach. Yep. Coaching me now, yep. we're like you know, I'm. It's a hard time in my life, as you know. Yeah. Like we're, I'm going through a lot, so you're you're not even just being a coach. You're yep. when we're on this track, or you know, I'm and I couldn't even play that year. Yep. Yeah, you had to do your your residency. I didn't even play that year. Yep. I forgot about that. So I'm, you're you, you might be like a therapist, <laughs> like because <laughs> like, if you think about it, like I'm on a track with you, I, I don't get to reap the benefits of this right. work, but right. at the same time, I'm losing the weight. I'm killing yep. in practice. So yep. it's like everybody sees the light. I'm like in the most like darkest place in my in my time. So the whole time I'm like just trying to get through this so I can go back to my dorm. You know what yep. I mean? Like I'm not friendly with the team or anything. It's like right. no matter what, you always like you and Free were like the yep. two people who was like my like I felt comfortable with. You yep. know what I mean? Like Free would just come to my dorm and chill with me. Yep. Obviously, I spent so much time with you. So yep. I just want to say I appreciate that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't see myself making it through that situation. Without uh, you guys, nah, you know you, what I mean. You, like you would have, but I appreciate you saying. I appreciate your friendship. Right, right. It's and then in, it's very much turned into from that player coach to now. I see your successes, and I'm proud of you. Right. And you stayed in each other's lives. Exactly. And you asked me about my my family. Exactly. That, that's that's what it's supposed to materialize into. And I think know? that's like the beauty of like the the basketball. You yeah. know what I mean? Like no doubt. It's like it's like almost. I tell people all the time. It's like a little fraternity. Like yeah. We no matter what, like you have that bubble, and it's like oh you. I'm a, even if it's somebody who I don't know directly, like some yeah. one of your coaching staff who I met before, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, oh yeah, you know that's Becker's boy, like yeah. you know what I mean? It's like those relationships go a long, long Absolutely. way in this in this business. Absolutely. But like, so what's dope about that is, like we talked about, you know, uh, Burton bringing you on, yep. And then what? So now, now you're the assistant coach for me, yep. My senior year, yep. And now I'm playing, actually. Still not a great year for me, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, up and down, I having moments or whatever. Yep. You're still being there for me. Like, then I get hurt, so I can't play. And then the magic happens. Mm -hmm. The magic being, like, all of a sudden now we're at practice and we find out Coach Becker's the head coach. Mm. I don't know about the magic. Right. Uh, but, yeah, it was, it was a bit of a whirlwind. And, and I think that, uh, you know, in any time, times of situation where you get something that you're unex that's unexpected and you weren't ready for. Right. You do the right thing. You be loyal to the people that gave you your start. Exactly. And uh, you know, I mean, I think you're tested in some of those moments, your character and your loyalty. And mm -hmm. I think that that is first and foremost another reason why you and I have remained friends because I think we both value that. Right. Um, but at that point, you, you're taking over the program, and I think I had it for like the final, somewhat like six, eight games. And uh, How, so you're 28 at this time. Yeah, I got it Jeez, at 28. I'm 28 now. Yeah. I yes. cannot imagine it's, coaching it, a Division II yeah. four-year program. Yeah, at, a lot of sleepless nights. You know what I mean? You're, you're now running things your were, way. Were you like mm – -hmm. how was that pressure? like? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, what's funny is my first game that we played, uh, I was the head coach. I got told on like a Wednesday, and we played Saturday that, that weekend. And it was at UC San Diego. It was on their spirit night. And so on Spirit Night they sell out, and apparently UC, they have, UCSD Spirit Night is crazy. They haven't lost in like some odd like long, long time, and I didn't know. I'm just fired <laughs> up. Let's go. You know, I'm ready to to hit the ground running. 
and uh, trying to get everyone's buying and belief. And, and we had a lot of talent, but for whatever reason that year, it just wasn't working yet. Man, we were so talented. And uh, yeah, so talented. Um, um, and so anyways, we ended up losing the game, but, but in those moments and down the closing stretch, you know, I think I learned a lot about, about, you know, my progression. I think our players learned a lot about, you know what I mean? Appreciating opportunity because you never know what's happening, right. you know? Um, and it was a great learning curve and a great opportunity. Um, and then after that, I was able to get the interim job and, and held on to it and, and trying to build and, and, you know, we're still trying to make those steps that, that we think we're capable of making, but we're really proud of our progress. That's dope. And then, so at this point, I don't remember. I think I got hurt like the week before this happened because I'm in a cast. Mm -hmm. And you probably don't even remember this, but like, because this is, we're, we're doing, I, I forgot, we're all, we're, we have a meeting, obviously, and at this point we find out you're the head coach. Right. And you come to me and you say, look, I want you to act as an assistant coach. Mm -hmm. I don't want you, you're hurt. And I, I, to me, I think yep. part of it was you keeping me, you knowing me and you knowing like. Keeping you engaged. Exactly, because yep. you, at, at this point, I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like you, you're, at this point we have like a, it's deeper than yeah. coach player at this point yeah. already. Yeah. So you're 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 more fearful. Like, okay, if I don't keep Justin in this, I'm something bad could happen. Whether it's like not not yeah. the worst, you know what I mean? But like anything, yeah. like I could drop out of school, I could never go to right. class anymore. And it was like I saw that in you, and you were like, look, just because you're hurt, you need to be at every practice. Yep. You need to be at every game. You need to be yep. sitting on the bench. You need to be engaged. And I was like. I was like, he was like, you're a coach now. Like, yeah. you need to act as a coach, assistant yeah. coach. I, if scouting report, you need to know. Like, and I was like, like, oh, this dude, like, he messed mm -hmm. with me. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, this dude really, really rocks with me, and yeah. I and I knew it, and it it made me feel important a little bit because everybody yeah. kind of looked at me like the coach because I was so vocal and all that anyway. Yeah. And then having you like give me that extra push to let me know like that you view me as that. Yep. It was like, oh damn, like you know what I mean? Kind of put me. Well, well, anybody that knew you. Right. knew you were going to be a coach. Right. We were just talking about right, this, right, right. right? Like, you always had a basketball mind, and I always respected your approach to the game. Right. Um, and, and I, I thought, you, And I thought at a young age you really had a good understanding of the game. Um, and we had talked, like, when you were injured and you knew, you know, things were kind of winding down with your eligibility, <laughs> mm -hmm. it was just you're going to be a great coach exactly. one day in transition. So, mm -hmm. one, you helped me. Right from getting the pulse on the team and how to motivate that day or whatever the, exactly. whatever the, the, the way, whatever it was at that point. But it also was my way of showing confidence in you that now that your basketball career is done doesn't mean that your career in basketball is done. Right. And so that was my way of trying to keep you engaged and keep you focused on trying to you know accomplish your goals. You I, and, and I appreciate you for saying that, for one. For two, I think that has a lot to do with why I am the, the way I am now. Like you doing the track stuff with me, and, you know, like have those little conversations that because I remember uh, it was another conversation we had to where and I was like, man, I'm getting out of here. I'm leaving. And like we stayed, it was in a parking lot. Yep. It was heated. And we had one in, at their individual. It was heated. And like yep. I used to say some like crazy stuff and like you would be looking at me and it was like it was like like you had like bulletproof to like no matter what I say, you'd be like, nope, like I'm not having it. Like, yep. no, I'm not giving up on you. I'm not letting you quit. I'm not letting you do any of these things. Like it's just adversity. You, and you would yep. tell me your story. Yep. And that's, you know, it was like it really put me. At ease, and I would feel like okay, like like I said, this dude really does care about me, and I find yeah. I, I found that, you know, in a couple places in that in that situation, which made me like I said push through. Yep. And then to take it one step further, you're you eventually you, so now you're now you, you finish the year off. Yep. Now you're like now it's like okay now I say I'm a head coach. Yep. It's just serious, and then it's like okay. At this point, you don't know if you're going to be the head coach the next year, right? Yeah, it was the interim, so you weren't sure what your administration. We didn't know what was going to do. Yeah, and we but, were getting a new AD. And now you're talking about yeah, all so many things were changing at the time. And now you're talking about, all right, you took over a team that wasn't yours halfway through, and now there's an excitement about recruiting your guys that you make the decisions on, and, exactly. and, and all of those things, right? And the way you want to play, and all sorts of different stuff. Um, so there's an excitement level about that. And, and if you remember, like we wanted you to be a part of that. Exactly. We were you were finishing off your degree. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get you to be a part of this thing. Exactly. Uh, you know, we know you know how much people have respect for you in exactly. different areas to where mm -hmm. you, you'd be a good recruiter, you mm -hmm. think the game. Mm -hmm. It was all about, you know, let, let's dive into this. You know? What what made you call it was so funny because I was telling somebody the other day about this, like when you hit me, first it was a text mm -hmm. and you were like, Hey, I need to talk to you and He's like, I might have opportunity. And I never forget, I was working at like Target or something at the yep. time. And in my head, I'm, and I'm coaching at Fremont High School under Coach Scott. Like mm -hmm. I said, who coached me? So I'm already into it. And I'm, at this point, I'm like, 
I know I know the game, but I'm learning that I can't coach these kids like they're me. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling this kid to shoot this shot because that's a good shot for me. Yeah. Or I'm expecting this kid to make this play because that's yeah. the play I would have yep. made. You know what I mean? Yep. So I'm I'm finally learning that. Like, And I'm, I'm like, man, I don't think I'm going to be good at this. Like, I know it, but it's hard for me to mm-hmm. – you know what I mean? Like, Because right. I expect them to think like me. And so once I got out of that – and now eventually you're like, hey, I need you to, I want you to come on. This will yep. be a great opportunity for you. Yep. It'll, you know, you can be like a pipeline. You can get yourself in. I know this is what you want to do. This is your yep. passion. Because at this point we're friends. Yep. So we're talking on a regular. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like right. whether it's a kid you want me to go see, whether, yep. that's another thing. There was a couple of those too. That exactly. You remember and that? that? That was my mm-hmm. first year there. Yeah. Yeah. There was a, the conversation initially was we got to get you to finish this thing. Yeah. Finish right. what you started. Right. This is a betterment of Justin Stanley first and foremost. Right. Appreciate that. Now it's, you know, there's so many avenues that you could help us and let's, let's get our feet started in this thing together mm-hmm. and like going at it together. And, um, and I think that started with the friendship and the respect level, like we spoke about, but it carried over to, you know what I mean? You impacting the program that you were most recently at Dominguez Hills, right? right? You were that you are now having an influence on the guys that played with you, let alone the incoming guys. Exactly. And so there's a there's a maturity that goes along with that mm-hmm. because you can't just do crazy stuff outside of basketball practice because these guys see you and exactly. you're trying to hold them accountable. And we had that. That's talk. a conflict exactly. that just not gonna exactly. work, right? So mm-hmm. I think it's like a, it's 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 a maturity process too. I, and I needed it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I, at that time specifically, like and it was. I remember we had that talk because if you remember, I was one year removed because I had my son. Yep. I came home for a year, yep. and then I came back. Yep. So at that point, it's like life is really hitting me. Yep. I'm not having money. I'm like working a part time job. Yep. It's retail. I hate it. People are coming into the store recognizing me from basketball. Yep. You know what I mean? Like so, it's yep. kind of embarrassing a little bit. And yep. it's but also it's like I mean I'm still popular, so it's like right. It, I'm kind of like torn, and it's like. Am I mature enough to do this? Like, yeah, you know what's interesting about this, and this is like big picture, uh-huh. like more than me, you, whatever. Like, basketball has given us so much in our lives. Right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been in college had it not been for basketball. I wouldn't have, right. you know, provide for my family if it's not for basketball. Let alone like see all parts of the world and country, right? So basketball has given so much, and I was brought up in the game from a guy named Mike Heron. Uh, who I met at Monterey was a New Yorker, Mm -hmm. and he had very much like an old-school approach to the game. And Mm -hmm. it's very much now about not just can you make money at this, it's about giving back, pay it forward, pay Mm -hmm. homage to the people that taught you. Mm -hmm. And to where if you're doing that at your alma mater, there's a different level of investment. Exactly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and, and so many of these jobs, college basketball jobs are hard to come by at any level. AAU, exactly. high school, college exactly. pros, like it's hard to get jobs. People love basketball. And everybody And so you. having those opportunities and doing with people you care about and are helping them get to the next stage of their career while you're doing the same, there's a lot to be uh, uh, proud of that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, for sure. I appreciate that. And yeah. like I said, so now we're we're coaching together. And it's yeah. like it's, it, it was tough for me at first because I'm like, I, I've, I've never done this. And this is like I went from high school – now I'm like I'm at the big leagues, you know yeah. what I mean? So I was like, I gotta wear a tie. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is yeah. like, you know, I'm like, I'm, it's new to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it was like, I, it, it was like, it, it was a good feeling. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody knows I'm like, knows me as an assistant coach. I'm yep. recruiting. I'm going out recruiting. I'm meeting people, and the yep. people I know are calling me from home. And then, right. like you say, it was almost like I was doing it for it anyway because you would call me about kids. Like, hey, mm-hmm. how you know? Do you, how how well do you know this kid? Yep. Like, you know, get some background information. Yep. If I didn't know. I would find out for you and then kind of, you know, yep. so it was like, it made sense. You know what I mean? Yep. So, uh, like I said, again, I want to yeah. just uh, uh, say thank you. Yeah. Let you know I appreciate all of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I probably wouldn't be here today. And even deeper. Hold on. I forgot about it. So, you were the one who even told me to start training. Do you yep. remember that? Yeah, yeah, You were yeah. like, you need to, because that, cause that's yep. initially what you said. You was like, because I used to do a lot of the, I used to work the guys out outside yep. of practice and stuff. He's like, man, like, you might as well. Come to the camp, work the camp, you know, start meeting yep. people, yep. start putting your name out there. I went and got business cards made. It was yep. like, it started in LA, you That's know what right. I mean? That's what I was telling people. That's right. And then, like, I would talk to my my cousin Omar, who trains up here, and then you know, I was asking him for advice, and it was like, it was tough yeah. at first, and I moved back home, and at back home, I know everybody. So, right. back home, it was easier. So, again, thank you for that, yeah, too, no. because you, no. you know, you pushed me into that direction as well, which was no. dope. I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative to be a part of your journey. <laughs> right. I didn't do anything that you wouldn't have done on yourself. Exactly. You know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of crazy some of the some of the places that the game takes you, exactly and relationships and all that, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. You know. So you so now you're coaching at Dominguez, and it's like now it's starting to become probably like okay, this is like now you're you, like you said you're invested, you're yep. recruiting guys. Like, 
but you're still ha- you still have the interim tag, right? You still like yeah trying for to a figure little bit because we didn't have a, a, a administration at right because the they were figuring that out. Yeah, but the interesting part is like when I got the job, I was so young, and like and still to this day, there's like a handful of coaches that were head coaches in the league when I was playing. So when you're that young and you're that's crazy. you know f- figuring it out at a young age and appreciate the opportunity and just gonna work your butt off to make your administration, you know what I mean, feel good about the decision. It's about respect, mm-hmm. right? So like, I wanted the respect, and now that you know, I mean, you've 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 done some things, and 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 you're you're you know making conference tournaments now, and and you're right on the verge of hopefully taking that next jump and recruiting good kids, mm-hmm. graduating your guys, cultures at an all time high, and all, and all the things that you're proud of, right? Without even going to detail, now it's like, let's take that next step. And I remember speaking. To, I remember talking to you sometimes, like around that time and it, you would be so even to me as a coach like the players and I used to be like dang like big tripping like it's not mm-hmm. really that but now that in hindsight looking back it's like you what you have now it's like you were molding that back then and that mm-hmm. was dope for me to see it now like when we were just talking I was telling you like man like you you're you're moving in the right direction you know what yeah. I mean like what you're doing is dope because I remember you back then you was like man you can't be saying stuff like that on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, well, coach, it wasn't even nothing crazy. Like, right. I didn't even say a bad word. You're like, yeah, right. but perception is everything. Like, yeah. you you don't want to come off as this type of person in this industry because it could affect this. And I'm like, yeah. me being, I needed that, me being that young. And then it's like, or the or the, kid, the players, like, you know, you don't want, don't bring the basketball team attention. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you want the basketball team to be good. GPA thing. You were like, yeah. you know, we have this GPA. No, this is our team GPA. We yeah. want, you know what I mean? Like, you're pushing all of us, even yeah. me on your staff, like, Pushing us like to yep. like you, I was in study hall. You know what I mean? Like yep. you were yep. on my grades. You were like, because yep. I'm trying to finish school, so yep. it was like you were treating me. And it, like I said again, I appreciate yep. that as well. It's yeah. Like, and I, I want you to know, I noticed it. Like, yeah, appreciate that. changing that culture and like building that foundation, and you stuck through it no matter how many of your the coaches with because we used to disagree all the time, which I'm right. sure all coaches yep. have to. It's healthy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. You need you need it. You yeah. know, we have to be able to bump heads because yeah. that way we know we're not lying to each other and yep. stuff like that. We're being honest with our opinions and everything. Right. And you start, you still affirm like, no, this is how. And eventually, we all started to buy in. It's yeah. like now, it's like yeah. we're all on one accord, and it's just dope seeing that. And yeah. even with Arjun and Fraze, like I talk to them dudes to this day. Yeah. I just talked to Fraze, you know, two days ago. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Fraze was just at my house over the weekend. Like that's that's that. the family element we're talking about, right? Now yeah. those guys are head coaches doing really well for me. Exactly, and you're proud of that, just like we're proud of you with this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But you know, the interesting part was like a lot of my stuff. Like I've learned over the years, but a lot of that stuff I take from like my experiences as a player. And I had three coaches in my five years, so you take good and bad and everything right. else. But like I had a bit of a disconnect to where I learned so much and had some of my best experiences with my brothers on the team, but also with Mike Heron, who's my trainer that I like really just develop my game with. Mm-hmm. And so for now, me as a head coach, like my approach is I want these kids to have the best experience with me because I care about them, I'm investing in them, we're building skill set, we're building all sorts of things that go towards a better you, and it's not a workout guy. Mm -hmm. Or I want the head coach to be impactful on your experience. Exactly. Not not the head coach, the reason why I didn't have a great experience. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of that goes into caring about your guys knowing them before you're trying to, you know, demand things of them mm-hmm. and uh, and being genuine with, with, you know, saying family on three, it's not just something you say. It's right. something you live with a bunch of different ways to That's do dope. it. You know what I mean? That's dope. So um, I know that you'll be good at that as you start you right. know, your journey here as that. a head coach, you know? Um, so now, how, how long have you been at, at Dominguez? Uh, gosh, this is my seventh year. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that wow. crazy? That is crazy. Yeah. Seventh year. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. So, uh, so this is going to be your seventh coming this up? This will be my seventh, yeah. That's big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you, conference tournament how many times so far? Past three. The past three. Yep. Made conference past yep. three. So one year as an assistant, one year took over, and then the last three of like my five years as the head coach, we've made the conference tournament, and now we're trying to – you know, take, take that, that take that next jump. So we got some really good players and some really good people, cultural. Man, I saw your you know team. I mean? You got some I'm excited good about it, guys dude. coming back. Yeah. Man. I went yeah. to the game against East Bay. Yeah. And I, I, I like that team a lot, man. Yeah. Yeah, we've got some really good pieces, so I'm excited. And, like and I, I said, heard that they're like gym rats. <laughs> yeah. I heard they love the gym. Oh, they man. love it, man. We, yeah. They work hard. And that's, that. the, that's like a recruiting. Like, we recruit that. Mm-hmm. Not to say you're always perfect with right. it, with your evaluations. Mm-hmm. But, like. That's what the ideal situation. Yeah. Yeah, I want guys, like, like this last year, we had, uh, you know, you have shoot-around on game days, right? Mm-hmm. And we would have the gym open for an hour and a half prior to shoot-around. And 
initially it was like your three, four, five hardest workers. But after our other guys saw those guys in there at the level that they were in there, it was no joke. All 15 guys dripping sweat with our coaches and with our, you know what I mean? And, and doing it with themselves, coaching each other up, which is like, you talk about like some of the things you're proud of. Like, I'm proud of that. Because when you were there and early into it, it wasn't like that. Exactly. You were having to try to pull guys to the gym. And Begging them. As a college basketball pro, it should never be like exactly. that. Exactly. And that, I mean? that goes back to the culture thing you said. Like, when you, and that says a lot to you again. It's just like a, this is like yeah. <laughs> uh, a I, big up Coach Becker day. No, no, no. no but I mean, but, I mean, but like we, we've had these talks in, in private. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and, and th- there's stuff that, like, that says a lot to the type of like you as a recruiter. You know what I mean? Like you're saying, okay, I want somebody who's not just talented. Like it has to be. It, there, there's like a checklist almost. You know what I yeah. mean? And that's a big, that's dope for people to see because when. I said it in another interview, like those are the type of programs you wanna you want you wanna be in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because you want it to be to the point to where, like you said, if if I'm the seventh guy, how am I not in the gym in the yeah. one through five is in the gym? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like who do who like so I'm now, well, coach, I'm the seventh guy, I wanna play more. Well, how if one through six is in the gym more than you? I exactly. see them when I'm walking to the training room or if I'm walking through to the locker room or yeah. if I'm walk- and I see this guy in the gym, how can I not reward yeah. that? You know what I mean? And, I mean, and then it becomes a contagious. Yeah, and some people just naturally have it. Exactly. Right? But the best players I've ever been around, the two twos, you know, he's he, you know, I mean, some of the you know, the Kwame Vons right, of the world, right. like like I've been around multiple pros, a lot of pros over the years. And the pros separate themselves with how they carry themselves with their work ethic and their expectations of themselves. So Mm. it's not a coincidence that your best players are usually your hardest workers or the guys that people follow. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know what I mean? And some people just have it. You know what I mean? And and to be clear, when you say best player, it's not as it's not it's it's as far as results are are, are concerned. Yeah, just I mean, when I say like best player, I mean a lot of the guys that get the opportunity to go play professionally, all league, all region. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like. Mm uh, you know the the guys that get the credit and, and make a career out of it. Mm-hmm. Usually, it's the hardest workers, from my experience. And to be honest, that's why it was tough for me. And again, I it was so gl- I'm glad that you pulled me into coaching the way you did because yeah. I'm sure I probably would have coached like you said. But yeah. the timing of it was impactful for me because at that point when I started to play for you, I, I was over basketball yeah. and I knew that. Yeah. So I wasn't. I used to be that guy that be in the gym. But you know, like I wasn't in the gym. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like I'd rather go sit in my dorm and not be bothered by anybody. Like right. I'm in a depressed state. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like it's dope how we get put in these situations where you don't even know. Like I'm yeah. sure you know the impact, but you're doing it out of love at this point for yeah. me. Yeah. And no then you know, out of, and that that says a lot. Like I said about your character because what you're doing moving forward, and now yeah. you have like a pipeline of kid of yeah. people who you've coached that are playing pro. Yeah. You know what I mean? That are coaching coaches yep. who coach with you coaching elsewhere yeah yep. you know what i mean and it's like head coaching elsewhere yeah like that that's dope man yeah like, yeah appreciate that it, yeah i mean it's like uh i don't know there, there's layers to it all right but like at a young age when i got thrown into a head coaching opportunity i, I could have folded right right mm-hmm. or you know I, I, I got an opportunity to go play in germany like i mentioned they cut me after we got a new coach and i didn't produce for a couple games they sent me home and there's so many of those like we get a new coach in college and, uh, you know what I mean? I'm not his guy. Right. There's so many of these opportunities where you learn about your character. Mm-hmm. And as you get older, you can then um, Give that influence. Back. Yeah, you, you, you pay it forward, right? Like we talked about, That's paying dope, back to the man. game. And it's not just, you know, teach a kid how to play basketball. It's teach him how to handle adversity. And that, that, that carries over way bigger than basketball even does. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Again, when you... You coming to pick me, coming to get me to go on that track, running with me, mm-hmm. lifting weights with me. Yep. You know what I mean? Like rebounding for me. Like yep. you would put me through basketball drills, like yep. to get my cardio up. Like it would be a hard drill, like get me tired and stuff. Like that, I took that from you. That was some yeah. one of the things that I took from you. Is like you know what? So now it's, it's kids I train. I go pick them up at five thirty in the morning from mm-hmm. their house. We drive to the gym, work out. I drop them off. I go home, shower, get ready for work. Yeah. Like I wouldn't have There's that. There's not many people that do that. And that's not exactly. that's not common. That's not expected. Or I'm you know? or I'm paying for their Uber for them yeah. to come meet me at like. But I wouldn't be able to do that. I don't think if you didn't instead because if why wouldn't I be able to do that for somebody else if somebody did that for me? Yeah, you know what I mean. Then you gave me these opportunities. Like it's like you just impacted so many people's life. You know what I mean? Appreciate and, that. And then the dope thing about it is you're not even doing it for yourself. Like you're you're not doing it for this moment. Right. You're not doing it for me to say, oh, I'm a head coach here and and I came under Steve right. Becker. Right. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You're doing it because you're genuinely. 
want people yeah. to, you know, do better. You want to yeah. see people grow. You want to pull the best out of people. Yeah. And to be a head coach and be able to do that is just dope in all aspects because I think that might be your best asset. You know what I mean? Like your best yeah. attribute because you 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 no matter if I agree with what you're saying as a basketball coach, like, man, go touch that line, go touch that line. It's like, right. I know he's telling me to touch that line because he really thinks that that's the best thing for me to go do yeah. right this right this moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's just, that's, and that ease feeling and, and said, like I said, again, says a lot to your character, man. Well, I think that's why you're going to be a special coach because you're doing those things that when you tell, you know, whoever it is that I need you to do this defensively to sacrifice of yourself, they've seen you do it. Exactly. And you've built that rapport, that relationship, yep. so the respect level is there. And, and you know, I'm not, I'm not perfect with it. i got to right. get a lot better. Of course. You know what I mean? But, but I think value in doing things the right way for the people that you care about, not just, you know, uh, I mean, you win a national championship if you don't graduate or you don't better your family, and I didn't teach you any life tools that can exactly. help you be successful. Then you know how how good of a job am I doing? Right. You know. Right. So. So um so, again, congratulations, man, on like Appreciate the that. success. You know, I know you you're not content with it, but like yep. I said, somebody like me who was literally in the program yep. as a player, I, watching from the outside in the program as a coach, like I know you know like the the battles you deal with, like yep. how tough it is and. To see you still kicking and like, you know, like you're one of the hardest workers I've ever met. Appreciate like, that. Like I'm talking like, you know, like you you call me just I gotta get up there and then you're here Thursday, like, yeah. hey, where you at? Let's go have food. You yeah. know, like yeah. Yeah. damn coach, you, yeah. you can't even see the guy that fast. You're right. like, hey, I gotta get in there early. Yeah. And again, that, that says a lot to how you're able to change that culture and get in those guys, your guys, like you said, mm -hmm. to where you kind of change the stigma of, you know, that university. And that's dope, man. Yeah. Like, you know, to see Thank you. Um Quick thing, just you know, for people out there watching, mm -hmm. what's something like like advice you can give to like a prospect coming out of high school or JUCO that's yep. just young and you know, like growing up? Like, what do you look for like when you're going to go watch these kids play? Yeah. I know like people get caught up in like oh how it looks and like you're old fashioned like me. We like yep. old school basketball, yep. you know yep. what I mean? So it's like yep. I know the type of guys you watch, but like tell the people like you know just yep. so these kids know you know how can I get the attention of Coach Becker if he yep. comes to watch me if I see him in my gym. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I always look for good teammates. Someone that, you know, doesn't point out a hey, nice pass, doesn't give love, they get subbed out. You know what I mean? They're, 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 they're not giving the people that they go to war with every day proper love or being disrespectful to coaches. Like, that's off top. Like, that's, that's what we call it our kind of guy, OKG. Right. Like, those that's are dope. OKG categories. We also look for toughness. You know, as a kid punking out when he gets screened or is he going underneath and, you know, trying to switch every two <laughs> seconds and trying to put it on somebody else. You know, coaches recognize those yeah, exactly, things. Exactly, um, exactly. So, and I and I was a point guard. You know, I wasn't, you were a much better point guard than I was. Um, <laughs> and Tutu was a much better point guard than I was. But there's certain things that I look for as like a pass first guy that, you know, kind of really allows me to try to differentiate, you know, special point guards, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, someone that's, that's, that's uh, you know, a good teammate, Someone that cares, like I, I, like I have a hard time coaching people that don't love basketball. Yeah, you're really passionate. because I love basketball. You're really passionate, you yeah. know. Really and so, passionate. I, I haven't had success with a crazy talented guy that just doesn't get in the gym or doesn't love it as much. I would rather have the guy who uh, wants to get a lot better. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And put the work in. And you always gotta have talent. You know, you're not gonna right. win games without talent. Well, you probably wouldn't be even on your radar yeah, if you yeah, don't have talent. Right, 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 <laughs> so. right. No question. But I, I, I love guys that love basketball. That's dope. Um, man. And, and people that care about family. You know, family means a lot to me. So, uh, you know, not to say that every family's perfect. Doesn't right. have to be the same. Doesn't have to be. But someone that shows loyalty in some different ways. Mm -hmm. um, it almost things. doesn't make you family if you're not. If you are perfect, it's not real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's telltale signs like. You know, I mean, you have a bunch of success, and you come on your recruiting visit, and you bash your head coach. Uh, you know, that's not a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's mm -hmm. there's a bunch of different different things that you can identify those things for. But good people who play hard that love the game are tough. Um, you know, and then talented in the different aspects of their their position. You know, those are some of the things we look for. Thanks, coach. That's, yeah, that's it's a gem for the kids. Oh right man, there. I don't know about that. I don't <laughs> know about that. But thank you for having me. Man. Um, it's a pleasure. One more thing. This is like, cause like I said, we're. Our relationship is outside of basketball yeah. at this point. This yeah. is more so like, so this is what I want you to give the people now is like deeper than a prospect. Mm -hmm. Like, because I feel like you're a guy who like, you helped me get to like where I'm at now as mm -hmm. far as like a friend. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And we're, like, as a man, I, I as a coach, 
Yeah. As a man, we're you know we're here. We yeah. you know that. Yeah. Like we've had a bunch of disagreements. We we don't see eye to eye all the time. Like you know we're yeah. we but it's like we're like brothers. You know yeah, what I mean? Like exactly. like just exactly. literally. So for the people like. Because I know you did this for me as people, you know, my my story that I'll tell eventually, you're going to be all through it, obviously, which is why I contacted mm. you to come on here. Mm. Because everybody who played a viable piece, I want them to, you know, nice. sh- showcase and like kind of have the dialogue to where people can see how we, you know, met and yep. all of that. So that way when I'm telling these stories, it's a familiar name and face and all yeah, that. That makes that's sense. Cool. That's smart. Um, at the same time, you were able to pull me out of like a very dark space. And I know me, me us being friends and being personal, I know a lot about you, yep. you know what I mean? So like, how do you, how, what do you say to somebody where it's like, the like the finish line, you just feel like it just keep being moved on you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it's like you, you feel like you're doing the right things and it's just like, just how to not give up. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like I said, I know some of the stuff you've been through, you know uh, almost yeah. all the stuff I've been through, like the yeah. adversity, I've hit the hurdles. Right. And you used to always talk to me about hurdles. Like yeah. just give a little bit of that just to people who are out there yeah. who could be having like a, it could be a rough patch in their life. And rough yeah. patches, like I just told you today, like I just realized this, my rough patch has been like the last eight years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like <laughs> you you have your ups and downs right. and I just, and that's just for me, you know, yeah. being aware and yeah. being able to get to this space. You know what right. I mean? So just like I said, give something it yeah. could be like what you used to think of like when you would yeah. know the stuff I would be going through and it's just yeah. like well I think it as a coach as as in, in any leadership position for me this is just the way I'm doing it that's not to say it's the right way mm-hmm. but for me when you're in a leadership position and you have people that you require things of mm-hmm. when I'm in a, a, a parent's home and I tell them that I'm gonna care about your son like he's my own or my brother whatever the relationship I'm a young head coach right, so right, right. like for you and I it was brothers right. for some it's a mentor for right. some it's a father figure right. for whatever it is right, right. So when I'm sitting in those parents' homes and I'm telling them I'm gonna care about your son like he's my own and I'm gonna help him become a better man and a better ball player, it'd be cowardly, cowardly of me if I don't see those things through the way I see fit. Again, not the way it's it's not perfect, right? But I treat you like my brothers and and uh, and or younger brother, whatever it is, or son or whatever. Um, but I think it's be cowardly to not follow through with your word, just like someone that comes and balls. Right, you tell them you see potential to be a professional. If they do what they're supposed to do and ball and help you win, and they get their degree and they do what's right, it's my obligation, right. not not a not a maybe. Should I do right, this? Right, right. It's my obligation to get these guys to the next level with any connection that I can get for them, that's because dope. that's that's part of like like being a man of your word and doing things the right way, and it sets a good example for for the kids that you're coaching that's and dope. and your assistant coaches. You know, that's they dope. they need to be doing the same stuff. You know, so. That's just like how I operate. Mm-hmm. Not, again, not to say that's the right way, but that's right. the way we operate. So that's dope, man. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Well, I know you got a lot to do. So, I appreciate uh, you, man. Yeah, of course. And we definitely appreciate we need you. to have another sit down, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like one to where we could really go into more depth, and then you can like, you know, give like you know some more pointers. You know, we can Let tell more of our little personal relationships so yeah. people can. I'd love to. Okay, I That'd appreciate be awesome. that. That'd be All awesome. Right. Appreciate you, Jess. Of course, man. Good luck this All season. Right. We will be following. You know, putting some updates of like their records and like you know who's playing well and stuff like that okay. i'll be you know in contact with you appreciate just that. you know scores and stuff little yep. tickers like type stuff i'm cool. gonna do on cool. the show so people like tutu i'll post his stats and all of that yeah all my regular my guys you know what i mean the people who yep. i have personal relationship with just to keep you guys updated cool appreciate sounds that. good all right all right man thank you guys for tuning in we're gonna sign out